but even even if that is true number one uh that means the majority of people who see or hear the evidence are also not going to be knowledgeable enough to to understand the difference but then number two the technology is just going to keep getting better and it, it will improve to a point where you know it it seems or at least it seems like it's going to improve to a point where even the experts won't necessarily be able to um, tell the difference. Warning, the following message may be offensive to some audiences. These audiences may include, but are not limited to, professing Christians who never read their Bible, sissies, sodomites, men with man buns, those who approve of men with man buns, man bun enablers, white knights for men with man buns, homemakers who have finished Netflix but don't know how to meal plan, and people who refer to their pets as fur babies. Your discretion is advised. People are tired of hearing nothing but doom and despair on the radio. The message of Christianity is that salvation is found in Christ alone, and any who reject Christ therefore forfeit any hope of salvation, any hope of heaven. The issue is that humanity is in sin, and the wrath of Almighty God is hanging over our heads. They will hear his words, they will not act upon them, and when the floods of divine judgment, when the fires of wrath come, they will be consumed and they will perish. God wrapped himself in flesh, condescended, and became a man, died on the cross for sin, was resurrected on the third day, has ascended to the right hand of the Father, where he sits now to make intercession for us. Jesus is saying there is a group of people who will hear his words, they will act upon them, and when the floods of divine judgment come in that final day, their house will stand. Welcome to Bible Bashed, where we aim to equip the saints for the works of ministry by answering the questions you're not allowed to ask. We're your hosts, Harrison Kerrigan, and Pastor Tim Mullet, and today we'll answer the age-old question, should Christians believe in conspiracy theories? Now, Tim, as we kick this episode off, what Bible verse do you have that relates to belief in conspiracy theories? Yeah, sure. So Proverbs uh, 14, 15 says, the simple believes everything, but the prudent gives thought to his steps. So there you go okay okay so and you're a spell it spell out for us a little bit about you know how that verse relates to the topic at hand in your mind well, i mean it kind of cuts both ways <laughs> okay <laughs> meaning um you know there is um there is the type of person who will believe any conspiracy theory that they hear you know no matter how wild it is no matter how many like how contradictory it is to the other sets of conspiracies that they believe uh, they'll believe everything right so if it serves to advance the cause that they want to advance then they will believe it so that would be an sure. example of a simple who believes everything but the prudent gives thought to his steps but then on the other hand i mean there <laughs> when you're living in a nation that I mean, the press, I mean, essentially lies with every breath that comes out of their mouth. <laughs> so, mm-hmm. so when you think about the situation that we live in right now, we live in a pretty remarkable time in a lot of ways. It, not, I mean, it's not as if there hasn't been um, nations that have existed throughout the history of the world where it, the press was bought by powerful people. You know, I, like the, you know, the press is basically just... Uh, the propaganda arm of the democratic party at this point <laughs> you know so, sure yeah so i mean but we've been in situations like that before i mean meaning like you know you think about nazi germany or something like that and like that's a time where you just uh, you have a propaganda campaign and you know you have a philosophy of propaganda that essentially says that if you lie long enough they'll you know eventually people will believe it and i mean that's what our press is doing that there's a coordinated effort to lie to us on almost every front but then it, even more than that though there is the reality that for the first time in history and this is something that is novel i mean for for the first time in history we we are living in a time where you can't even believe the video ev- evidence that you see is true yeah you know, so i mean i i saw um I saw one of those videos of the Trump shooting or whatever that was showing the impact on his ear or whatever. And uh, I thought to momentarily share it. And as I sh- sh- as I was about to share it or whatever, I see the community note on the bottom of it just because I thought it was neat to see the impact or whatever. But then there's a community note on the bottom that was basically saying that this was a reversal of the video, um, the shooting video, right? It was a, like they reversed it. Um, and then they added the 
you know, the ear tearing graphic or whatever on it. And, <laughs> uh-huh. But I mean, it, if on, at first glance, it was like, man, like that's, that's pretty crazy. It's you convincing. Know? Yeah. Yeah. It, I mean, so I, you're, you're at a time right now where who knows what, what to believe. Right. right. But I saw a video of Biden. Um, I saw two videos of Biden that were trying to advance the conspiracy theory that he's, he's been dead for a while and someone mm-hmm. is wearing him as a suit or whatever, like wearing a Biden costume, basically. Like, uh, <laughs> uh-huh. yeah, now, I've I mean, seen those. Yeah. But like the, I, I've seen, I saw these two videos, but I mean, like they look real. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. They, they look real meaning like, um, they're like, there's one on the show in the back of his head and the back of his head moving. It looks like the skin. Right. Well, yeah. Like it's not, it's uh, not fully attached to his body. Yeah, right. And then I've the one that. on his forehead looks like, man, like, um, his forehead is moving wrong, you know? Uh, yeah. It, uh, when you, it, I, I know the videos you're talking about for sure. And people have, you know, this isn't the first time people have even shared videos like that specifically with joe biden especially due to his age i think it is such a believable thing at this point to wonder you know how how healthy is he really is he really out there as much as he is and i think the i think the the overall takeaway i get from a lot of those videos specifically those ones is they don't um It's hard. It, you you watch them and you just think to yourself, something feels off about this. Like it, like the it's like an uncanny valley sort of situation where you can't really tell. Like, hey, is this a situation where someone has you know faked footage of Joe Biden to prove that he is? Um, there's an actor playing him with the suit on. That there's an actor playing him, or is this a situation where? you know, the other side has faked it to prove that, you know, to try and make everyone think Joe Biden is doing a lot better than he actually is. Or is this just an actual video? And, and for whatever reason, he just, he just looks strange in, you know, in this one for, you know, maybe, maybe he's like exhausted or they just pumped him full of drugs or something. I don't know. But yeah, I, I understand what you mean when you, you sit down and you watch a lot of these videos and you just think to yourself, like something, something feels really off even i mean not even just with videos about like hey his hey his skin looks weird but situations where you know his face looks just not what he normally looks like you know i mean i mean you with someone famous like that you yeah. get pretty used to what they look like on camera because you see them so often and then you see these other videos that leave you questioning it and then all of a sudden you're sitting there wondering to yourself, well, I don't, I don't even know if I know what to, <laughs> if well, I yeah. know what to believe anymore. Yeah. I mean, that's part of the, so, I mean, you have like, you have a video like that where it looks pretty persuasive. I mean, I, I don't know yeah. enough about video editing or, uh, you know, all that to really even be able to evaluate what I'm looking at. I'm just, I know that my eyes are looking at something that is very off. Right. And the explanation given that like someone's wearing him as a suit, it's like, well, my eyes are not, my eyes are this is this uh this this conspiracy conforms to what my eyes are observing right uh yeah and, and then you have like uh things like the uh kamala harris like joe biden has disappeared since he's dropped out of the race right so joe, right. <laughs> he's, he's disappeared <laughs> since he's uh sent his letter or whatever that appears to be forged maybe you know yeah, <laughs> or yeah. he's dropped out of the race and he's quiet on all fronts and then uh kamala harris is apparently talking to him you know on the phone and then mm-hmm. she makes reference yeah. like she slips and makes reference to like it's no it's so nice to hear you on the record uh, the uh call <laughs> you know <laughs> it's what she said <laughs> oh i didn't know i didn't know that <laughs> so she lets slip <laughs> the record you know but then someone you know uh could more conspiracy theorists came along and basically said that um, it's like 98% certain that, uh, you know, and who knows what that means, that uh, this was AI voice technology that was being used to do his voice or whatever. So, I mean, the whole mm-hmm. thing is fishy. You know, the whole thing is fishy in so many different ways. And, um, I mean, you're just living in a time right now that there there is no... I mean, perhaps the only kind of comparison you can have is just like someone harnessing the dark arts or something. And, you know, 
<laughs> yeah. like just straight up witchcraft or something like that. But I mean, we've, you've never been in a time where someone could fake a voice or fake like a video, video evidence in the way that you can now. I mean, you have deep fakes that are getting like crazy accurate. I mean, and it's only going to be a, you know, you, we're already living in a time where you can't really believe anything that you hear anyways. Um, mm-hmm. And now you're living in a time where the, this stuff can be faked to such a degree that it's not just intuitively obvious immediately that what you're looking at is, is even real, you know? So right. we, we, we obviously face unique challenges. So on the one hand, yeah, the simple will believe every conspiracy theory that they hear, even the contradictory ones, so long as they advance their narrative. But on the other hand, it's like, Hey, yeah, you know what? Um, the simple believes everything, <laughs> right? <laughs> <laughs> like meaning like if you, if you believe everything that the, the democratic party, you know, uh, in the press, you know, they're, uh, propaganda arm you know uh the mainstream media tells you i mean you're a fool you know <laughs> so right they lie through their teeth they they make a living out of lying at this point you know they've lied so many times to us that i mean i don't know how you take anything they say <laughs> so, so i mean you can almost determine what's true based on like take like believing the opposite of what they say at this point you know so you, you know you have that kind of thing so you, it, it goes both ways and then um you know there's um be wise as um, serpents, innocent as doves. There's, I mean, there's all sorts of verses like that. And I mean, as you look through the Bible, there's there's certainly a lot of verses actually on conspiracies, you know, too. So we could talk about some of that too. But um, but yeah, I mean, that's, it's, um, I don't know. There's The Bible does not teach like uh, just uh, this naivety that you are morally bound to believe everything that anyone tells you, no matter what kind of track record they have. Right. Um, you know, so, I mean, at that point it's just like, Hey, yeah, the nice serpent said, you know, X, you know, so he must be telling me, <laughs> he must be telling me the truth here, you know, uh, because God commands me to believe everything that everyone says to me, you know? So that's right. That's just not the case. So, yeah. Well, and, and it's interesting you bring that up too, because it, and in my experience, it does feel like you, I mean, you do see a lot of people who say, who essentially condemn all conspiracy theories, no matter what they are. Right. Um, especially if they're the kind that are like the, where's Joe Biden kind of conspiracy theories. Right. Uh, um, yep. And what's interesting to me is it, it feels like it's always the guys who would, defend the left anyway and, and i'm not just talking about like the cnn's of the world or or you know msnbc or npr or something like that i'm talking about you know people who claim to be christians who condemn like at the broad you know the broad spectrum of all conspiracy theories and really kind of really kind of treat you like you're stupid if you even dare to believe <laughs> that the government might lie to you. Right. That, that's genuinely what it feels like. I mean, may, maybe my perception is off there, but it does genuinely feel like it's like it's unchristian. It's unloving. It's, it's unwise yeah. um, to even, to even question if people are ever lying to you. And that I, in my mind, that kind of sets off a red flag for me. Like, Hey, if it's, if it's all the people who, punch right and and coddle left every single time and they're constantly the ones condemning this and no one else you know no one else in the christian sphere is condemning this the same way well maybe maybe there's a reason for that that's that ventures beyond what it means to remain faithful to god's word does it does that make sense yeah i mean i i think certainly you know the, the type of people that you're talking about are the worst uh, examples of the kind of phenomenon that you're describing. But I mean, I wouldn't, it's typically that uh, for sure. I, I would say that there's uh, other dynamics that are happening too. But I mean, I think in large measure, you know, what, what's happening is the left is essentially, I mean, the, the press right now is essentially a propaganda arm of the left. It's just, it's what it is, man. They lie to you nonstop. Everything they say is lie, you know, and, and, and there there is this sense in which there's like a coordinated effort to, advance like very specific lies right <laughs> so mm-hmm. like meaning like whenever the you know the uh, memo goes out like all the major you know mainstream media 
you know, outlets are propagating the same lie. I mean, in, in when you see this happen, like when you, when you saw this happen in the uh, 2016 election with Trump, when you saw it happening with the Black Lives Matter stuff, you know, during the summer of love, the most really peaceful protest. And all yeah, that. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> like when you see when you see the dynamic happening there, you know, it's a mostly peaceful protest. You see it with the Michael Brown stuff with all the race racial shooting stuff, where it's just lie lie through their teeth. There's a memo going out, lie, lie, lie. You know, Donald Trump has no prayer. He's not going to win, right? He's down in the polls and all this kind of stuff. And you see that he's like convincingly wins. You know, like. And it, he he win, he's not going to win the primaries. He, he's not going to win the presidency, everything else. Like you see that kind of stuff happen. You, you think about like the Russian collusion narratives and all that kind of stuff. I mean, you could, you could tell that the moment there's a scandal brewing on the left, you know, then it's, they lie through their teeth, right? They lie. So they lie through, through their teeth about all that, um, all that stuff. Right. Um, right. Then, like through the COVID stuff, they're lying through their teeth. Like everything they're telling you is a lie, <laughs> you know. <laughs> like it's just, uh, you know, or half truths or distorted, or you know, like I mean, it's just like you know, like just your regular, you know, blue collar worker knows he's being lied through to it through his teeth. So, but then at the same time, there's a move that the left makes, and and the move that they're making is they make like the worst sin possible is to believe in conspiracy theories, right? <laughs> yeah. So yeah, as yeah the, I, I, I remember I remember, you know, after this whole Trump assassination thing, they had a they had an expert, um, you know, at like ex sniper or a CIA agent, he, some something along those lines where he, you know, he, he's qualified to talk about um, what, All you know, was this a, was this a failure and where where are the failures and what what should, you know, what should be done about this essentially in response and. And, you know, he was just, he was just simply bringing up the fact that, hey, this could, you know, with the way, with the amount of failures and the way they happened, it should not be taken off the table that this was in some way an inside job. He wasn't saying it was one. He wasn't making any hard claims. He was just saying, hey, this, it, this needs to be considered as an option you cannot just write this off the same way you can't write off that it it was simply an oversight or you know what whatever the other explanation might be you need to treat that the same way this could have been purposeful negligence this could have been an inside job and the you know the the anchor that's on with him is like well whoa you don't want to be a conspiracy theorist he's like well i'm not I'm just saying this needs to be investigated the same way, but, but just like the, the knee jerk reaction from is the it, media yeah. to say like the worst thing you could ever do right now is suggest that it would be an inside job because that would label <laughs> you a conspiracy theorist. <laughs> Tenfold, get the temple hat out. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. So, but that's, so the, the dynamic is they lie through their teeth. Then they make the cardinal sin to be a conspiracy theorist. Right. Which, which is convenient because they're lying to you. <laughs> you <know? laughs> like, <laughs> yeah, yeah. I mean, that means that whatever they say, you have to believe, or else you're like worse than a Nazi or something like that, right? Uh, I mean, you can think about like things like um, the Alex Jones kind of stuff with uh, where he's being uh, sued for a billion dollars or whatever by the San Diego. Yeah, yeah. You know? <laughs> <laughs> so like no one wants to be him, you know, you don't want to get a, you don't want to get fleeced, you know, because you believe that there's more to that story or whatever. So, I mean, that's, so the, the, the dynamic is the left is lying to you nonstop. Their propaganda arm, the media is lying to you nonstop. And you know, they're lying to you. Everyone knows they're lying to you. They're lying to you over and over and over again. You know, it's just lie, 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 lie. And then they make the worst possible thing is to, is to question whether or not they're telling the truth, right? Right. So then, like, you're worse than Hitler if you question whether, like, you're just some stupid, ignorant redneck, you know, out the backwoods or something. And so right. then, so then, like, your mate, what's happening then is, like, your respectable evangelical types are looking at that, and their impulses really have been trained by the outrage of the left. Like, they don't want to be, they want to, they want to be like the, the reasonable Christian, right? They don't want to be the crazy, you know, right wing, you know, Christian nationalist conspiracy theory minded, you know, Christians like the, they, they don't want to be those kind. They want to be like, they want to be basically the last 
ones thrown to the lions, right? <laughs> yeah, yeah. They want to be, they, they want, they're trying to buddy, buddy the powers that be, you know, they've identified who those are, but then they love the praise of men more than they love the praise of God. So I think a lot of your respectable evangelical types fit the bill that you're talking about for sure. But then I mean, I do think that there is a kind of Christian out there who, like, they look at, all the conspiracy theories on the right and say, Hey, yeah, this is like, you guys are making us look bad too. Right. So mm-hmm. like when you have like multiple conspiracies going in multiple different directions and you believe all of them, right? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Um, so like, for example, with this Trump thing, I mean, there's a conspiracy theory out there where like the shooter that they've identified is not the real shooter. Right. Right. Yeah. so like based on pictures of and i mean you can look at the pictures and it's like yeah it does like he doesn't have like holes in his ears or whatever like uh it doesn't have the gauge holes in his ears so it does look like the other picture that they're showing or whatever but then but then at the same time there's another conspiracy out there that there's multiple shooters right <laughs> so you sure like, yeah like there's multiple shooters and then there's now there's conspiracies out there that the guy that they've identified has been co- in contact with um someone high up right and then he's a 20 year there's all sorts of conspiracy theories related to him he's 20 years old how does he have all this tech you know you know and, and all that kind of stuff and so you you just you have to pick which one you're going to go with man <laughs> you know right like uh, you can't go with them all at the same time so like um so there, there is a kind of person who's like hey you guys are giving us a bad name you're making us look crazy by it i mean you know like advancing even the most like crazy anti-science, you know, flat earth or whatever kind of stuff. Right. Um, so then at, like at a certain point, it's just like, like you're just given, you're giving people ammunition. You got to tone it down a little bit. Right. Mm-hmm. Like there's no, there's no virtue in being gullible the other direction either. So, I mean, I, I think there is, there are people like that, but general, genuinely though, like what people should do is they should realize at the very least that this is a convenient play that's being run by the left. And if you don't understand how convenient this play is, then I don't really trust your judgment. <laughs> you know, you know what I'm yeah. saying? Like, I mean, it's a, like when you have a media that's lying to you with every breath that comes out of your out of their mouth and then they're, te- then they're making it like the worst possible, like they're, they're finding Alex Jones a billion dollars for Sandy Hook. That's crazy. Like, what is that doing? Right? Like, like that doesn't even make any sense, right? <laughs> that you're, yeah. I can so. Wait, what, is, what? What did Ale, What did? What did he say? I I know he's in trouble for all that, but I've never kept up with why they was, were suing him. Yeah, the sand is related to the Sandy Hook stuff. Like, I think he was basically saying that it was all a hoax, and then all the families have gone after him or whatever for defamation and. You know all that, and they, you know, have sued him for a ridiculous amount of money at this point. Right? And, yeah. You know, I, I, I never watched anything that Alex Jones has ever done, so I don't know anything about him other than I've just seen, you know, <laughs> in the news <laughs> that this kind of thing, you know. So, I mean, I, I maybe he's seen been a, sued into oblivion. <laughs> yeah, I mean, it's just ridiculous. I mean, you think whatever that is, it's not justice by any means, you know. Right. But I don't have any uh, like loyalty to him. I, I think I've seen a few clips of him every once, like. Like rare few, a couple clips of him sounding like a maniac screaming or something like that, but I don't know anything about him. <laughs> but uh, yeah, so I mean, I I think if you can't recognize that this is a convenient move the left is making, and then let your emotions follow, like how stupid that actually is, then mm-hmm. you know I I don't know that you're really qualified to even talk about this discussion. But I mean, you know, when you're really thinking about the topic in general, you, you do have to realize that there there are real conspiracies, you know? Yeah. <laughs> like, I mean, so part po- point one, right? Like there are real conspiracies. I mean, there's conspiracies in the Bible. You know, Absalom had a conspiracy against David. You know, you can think, you could think about that. What, um, um, uh, the, um, the, the Jews made a, con- there was a conspiracy to kill, you know, all the, um, uh, let's see, this is in acts, uh, 23, 13, right? So when it was the day, the Jews made a plot and bound themselves by oath, neither to eat nor drink until they had killed Paul. Uh, there, mm-hmm. there are more than 40 who'd made this conspiracy, you know? So, I mean, there are conspiracies <laughs> that have happened, right? Like in the history of the world, the Bible mentions multiple conspiracies. 
I mean, this is obviously like if you're an evil person trying to accomplish evil things, you're not just going to tell people, "Hey, here's my evil plot." You know, <laughs> like <laughs> you don't you don't typically announce it to the rest of the world. Yeah, yeah. yeah I mean, yeah, but we're at a crazy point right now where you have the World Economic Forum basically telling us their evil plot, and then you know, then they're carrying it out, and then everyone's like. And then, I mean, you know, they're not telling you um, how they're carrying it out, but they're obviously carrying it out behind the scenes. Right. And if you say, hey, it seems like everything they're saying is happening is happening, then it's like, well, you're a conspiracy nut. It's like, well, no, I mean, I think they're telling you what the game plan is. And I mean, they literally <laughs> put out a video that said you were going to own nothing and be happy. You were going to eat, eat bugs. bugs. So <laughs> I... You know, I, I, I'm sorry that I believed them. <laughs> yeah, you're going to eat bugs and then you see all the bug commercials, you know, and yeah. you, see, you see Nicole Kidman eating bugs, you know, trying to sell it, you know, as you can tell, she wants to scream, you know, like, uh, and all that. And it's like, yeah, I mean, so the Hollywood elites got that memo that they were, they were putting out, right? Somehow. I don't know how that happened, you know, but, um, yeah, so I, I, I think, yeah, there are, cons there's obviously conspiracies. There's obviously evil people that are going to do evil things. And they're not going to tell you all the steps of it, right? I mean, they're not going to tell you, like, that they're lying to you. And, I mean, obviously, like, just read a book on history or something, and this is what they do, you know? Mm -hmm. uh, like, so, yeah, we've always been Eurasia, you know? Sure, <laughs> right? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. yeah. <laughs> you know, and, and I think that does bring up another point, and it it really does seem like, as much as people want to scoff at conspiracy theories and, and certainly there are, there are some, you know, just insane ones out there for sure. But at the end of the day, everyone's a conspiracy theorist in some way, shape or form. I mean, if you were to go online and just mention anything about, uh, you know, Beyonce not being the one who had her baby, uh, I don't know. I don't know what ba which baby this was. This was several years ago at this point. But I mean, there's a whole community of pe of of people um, online who believe that she was never pregnant with with the baby that she had or didn't have, depending on who you ask. There's there's. I mean, you could probably ask most most younger people today about that, and they would have some thought. People, t I mean, and, and it's a strong reaction too. they'll be like, Beyonce didn't have that baby. Why did she rent out a whole floor of a hospital to have her baby? How come in this video, it looks like her belly folds in a way that no pregnant woman's belly would ever fold. And, you know, they have this whole list of, of arguments for why they think that she didn't have the baby. And it's like, that's, a, I mean, like you're a conspiracy theorist. Like when it comes to that, you're a conspiracy theorist. I mean, Democrats, they were the same way with all of the Russian collusion stuff, right? They were saying they were claiming that the election was stolen in 2016. And then when it, when 2020 came around and all of the Republicans were saying, Hey, the election was stolen. They're like, Whoa, why are you being such a conspiracy theorist? You were just doing the same thing. <laughs> we're, I mean, we're all conspiracy theorists at the end of the day. It's just some of them are, it some seems like popular. some of them are popular and some of them are not in some, terms some of, of them you know, are sanctioned by the zeitgeist. They're, yeah. they're acceptable. Yeah. They're yeah. acceptable and, and others are not. Uh, and, and so, so it just seems like, yeah, every, everyone's a conspiracy theorist. Quit acting like you're not. You are. <laughs> sure. I mean, there's people saying the Trump thing was an inside job. The other way, they're they're trying to say that Trump somehow um, staged it to build up, you know, to basically give himself um, a boost in popularity. And and so so it's just like, yeah, everyone's a conspiracy theorist. You think you think the conspiracies are all working in this direction? Other people think they're all working in the other direction. Quit acting, quit acting like it's all of a sudden this huge sin to believe that people will lie to you to try and accomplish whatever it is that they want to do. I mean, that's literally what you brought this up at the beginning. That's literally what Satan did, right? Oh, I, I don't want to be a conspiracy theorist, so I guess I better, you know, I guess that is what God said then. I guess I, you know, and, yeah. and so it's just like, the, this is, uh, I mean, at the end of the day, this is just something that we all do, so it doesn't make 
it doesn't make sense why you would necessarily write it off unless you have some other, why you would write some people off unless you have some, you know, um, some alternate motivation other than just, you don't want people to believe conspiracy theories at all. Does that make sense? Yeah. And I, I mean, I think that's, there is a certain kind of person who that really does peg, you know, but I mean, I think it is, um, you know, as, as much as the left has, you know, invented new words like misinformation and all that yeah, <laughs> disinformation yeah. or popularized him at the very least, you know, as, as much as like we have all these new words now, which are, you know, so bad. I mean, I, I do think that there is a, that God is a God of truth. Satan is a liar. We should be concerned about the stuff that we're promoting as if it's true. And right. when you're dealing with things that are very highly speculative, like saying them as if they're absolutely true for certain and a fact, right? Um, you, you, you do need like a very high standard of proof in order to make those kind of claims. You know, so I mean, I think, I think accusing people of lying is a bad thing, right? Like I think mm -hmm. accusing people of crimes, um, these things are, these things are they're not good right you know i, I don't think you should just uh, you mean like false falsely accusing them yeah i mean but then like the the idea of um so like if i were just to flip out like a accusation that you rape someone or something like that like that could destroy your life that's not good right right mm -hmm. and now if there's a conspiracy theory floating around about you that you did that and then it, you know everyone who like if you didn't Everyone who is sharing that and promoting that is morally stained. Like they're, they're responsible for ruining your life, right? Right. <laughs> you know, yeah. I mean, if you lose your job and, you know, all the th predictable things happen, you know, the mob comes after you and, you know, so I mean, that's not good, you know? And, and I mean, we've been the subject of conspiracies doing our podcasts. Like where people just jump to conclusions don't listen to anything that we're saying, attribute uncharitable motives to us, um, you know, come up with some weird, like, <laughs> I mean, most of them are pretty bizarre, you know, like the kind of stories that people come up with to explain our motivations at times or what we're trying to do or what we're trying to accomplish. And, you know, then they'll make podcasts where they'll psycho psychoanalyze us or whatever and talk about the conspiracies and all that behind it. And it's just like, well, that's evil, you know, <laughs> like, right? none of that's true. That's evil. You know, um, we didn't deserve that. You know, I mean, we're sinners. So, so I mean, it's not, uh, I mean, like we deserve hell, you know, in a certain sense, but I mean, like really like yeah, that's unjust, it's wrong. And God sees that. And one day, you know, when he returns, uh, he'll set everything right. And, you know, we'll be vindicated, you know, uh, related to those kind of false accusations and everything else. So I, I do think that there is like, it's not just like, um, there should be some seriousness to these, uh, kind of thoughts, right? Like, yeah. Um, but then, I mean, at the same time, you know, I, I think adding to that, when you're living in a time where there's like where you're being lied to so much, right? <laughs> like where mm -hmm. everything is like everything is lying to you so much. And then you see situations like it's just situation after situation after situation in the news that is happening that doesn't pass the smell test. You know, it just doesn't pass the smell test. It doesn't make any sense. I mean, you think about the stuff that's happening with Biden right now. He resigns. Uh, he basically says he's not going to resign. And then, you know, he, there's a letter of him resigning. He hasn't made a public appearance yet. He makes a, an audio call with Kamala, like he endorses Kamala. He's handing off all of his re responsibilities right now to the cabinet, not in person. You know, none of this is in person. He makes a call to Kamala, you know, so to speak. And she refers to it. She does a slip and calls it a recording, you know, and then, the mm -hmm. <laughs> and it's like when, when, when things like that are happening, it's just like, I, I don't think it takes a whole lot of intelligence to say, this doesn't add up. <laughs> you know? Right. This smells funny, you know, like there's something going on now. I mean, which conspiracy is it? It's, I mean, that's hard, man. I don't know. Is he dead? Have they been wearing around this as a suit for a while? Is this a coup, you know, like that they've staged, uh, have they, you know, uh, 86 or whatever, you know, mm -hmm. like, um, 
is he sick, you know, right now? Is he currently sick? Like, is he uh, on his deathbed? Was it just convenient? Like, he he was going, man, and now it's his time to die with no foul play involved. You know, is the CIA involved in that? Like, they may be involved in Trump. Was that two, pre- like, presidential uh, people that they're made attempts on in the same week? You know, I don't know. Like, all of that, like, I, all I know, I don't know how to answer those questions other than just to say, like, I don't think it's unreasonable to say some of this looks weird, you know? <laughs> yeah. Like this is not normal. Like it's not normal for a, for your president of the United States to hand off all of his responsibilities without a public appearance, without a word. It's not, you know, that's not normal for him to do that via a letter and not a public appearance, you know? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and then to disappear and have no one see him. So like, you know, since then, you know, uh, and then this strangely happens after the Democrats would call for him to resign, you know, like something. And he weird. refuses. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> something yeah. weird's going on. You know, something weird's going on. I don't pretend to have like the answers to what that is, you know, but I think um, you have to. So wh- what I'm trying to say is like um, when you're dealing with people who are pathological liars and they lie to you nonstop and nothing they say passes a smell test, right? Um I don't think it's the worst kind of thing in the world to say, Hey, something funny is happening. <laughs> mm-hmm. You know, now, I mean, um, I mean, th- you, you think about like a uh, crime analogy or something like that. Um, like e- the evidence that you need to convict someone in a court of law is very different than the evidence that you need to charge them with a crime. Right. And it, which is very different than the evidence you need to get a you know, warrant and all that. Right. And asking right. them for questioning. And so, I mean, I think that there, what's happening is like, there's a lot of different levels of confidence that you can have, you know, but like the idea of speculating that foul play is involved when you're dealing with liars seems to be fine, <laughs> you know, and then, and then saying, Hey, um, like how do I, like, um, trying to work it out? Does this make sense? Like, so when people are lying to you nonstop, they like you know that like the only way to figure out what's true is to question like is is to basically try to figure out well if I know they're gonna lie to me because they have a long history of lying, then I'm gonna have to determine what is true not by what they're saying but through other means right. Um, you know, James Lindsay had a uh, article about this that's pretty interesting, but um, he's basically talking about like with Marxist the. Um, like the stated, uh, their their stated goal is never the agenda. Like the thing that they're saying is never like the agenda. You know, what's the mm-hmm. agenda is like what they're doing behind the scenes, essentially. Right. Right. Like so, the revolution is the agenda. Like that's the agenda. Everything that they're saying and doing is working towards the goal of the revolution. Right. So that's how Marxists work. Like everything is working towards the revolution. And so then, if you know that about them. And you can look at what they're doing. You say, how is this supporting the revolution, right? And that gives you some insight. But I mean, I do think you have to think about um, what are the motives of, of the people in charge of the powers that be? What are their objectives? What are their goals? And then, you know, trying to navigate what's happening is to say, well, what are their goals? What are they trying to accomplish? And how will each one of these steps accomplish that goal? You know, but I, I yeah, you know, it, it's messy, man. I got, and I think when you're living in a world like that we're living in, where everything can be faked, it's it's tough. I mean, it's tough to know what's truth, the difference between truth and error. And I do think you have to give people who are living, who are <laughs> who are being lied to nonstop, a lot of like a wider berth, right? So I mean, my sympathies generally go with the people who are trying to figure it out more than my sympathies are 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 condemning them, right? Because right. I know the problem. The problem is you're being lied to. <laughs> and you can't even believe your eyes and your ears anymore, right? Like, you're, we're at a time in history where you can't even believe video evidence. You can't even believe audio edit evidence because yeah. it could be false. So, you know, it's just rough, man. It's rough. Well, and it doesn't help either that the you know that you have the internet involved in general where reactions are just so quick on so many different things. I mean, th- just think about how the Trump assassination I mean, the, you know, think about how that has evolved over the last couple of weeks, basically. And, and you're just, you're in the situation where people feel like they need, they must have a response immediately 
to right. everything that happens. And then you throw in the fact that you really can't even trust um, that the evidence that you've seen and that you've heard is real and that it hasn't been faked. I mean, may, you know, maybe, maybe that's just like a, like, I don't know enough about video to know that it's not fake, or I don't know enough about audio to know that it, it hasn't been faked or, or I think it's going. what, what AI is capable of. But, but even, even if that is true, number one, uh, that means the majority of people who see or hear the evidence are also not going to be knowledgeable enough to, to understand the difference. But then number two, the technology is just going to keep getting better and it, it will improve to a point where, you know, it, it seems, or at least it seems like it's going to improve to a point where even the experts won't necessarily be able to um, tell the difference between what's real and what's fake. And so, so it seems like you just have this, this conglomeration of, of, um, of issues that are coming together to create like a perfect storm for con for cons for the conspiracy theories and the you know and look here's the thing here here's the interesting thing to me it, and this is what gives me a lot of confidence in terms of um in terms of at least wanting to have a posture of uh, what you're saying where you know hey look i know i'm being lied to i might not know exactly how i'm being lied to and and on what topics i'm being lied to and you know, in what ways I'm being lied to, but I know I'm being lied to somewhere and, and probably in multiple different places at once. And, and I think the thing that gives me confidence to say that more than anything is just as you look over the past few years, all of the things that becomes that were conspiracy theories eventually just become acknowledged facts. <laughs> you yeah. know, so, so, yeah, so that, that gives me a lot of confidence. Well, see, a lot of it, like there's, there's a couple of problems in a couple of different directions. So like, meaning like w one of the problems is, is the problem that you're saying is that, you know, like you're, you have the right that is constantly being lectured about the danger of conspiracy theories nonstop. But then all like it, most of those conspiracy theories, like the major ones were being proven true on a regular basis. Right. Right. You know, so like meaning like that, like, um, I mean, at this point, it, it seems fairly obvious that, that like the election was stolen. Right. When you see like video evidence after video <laughs> evidence after video evidence of like ballots being taken, like, cases of ballots being taken out at, in the middle of the night, you know, um, after all the, you know, the uh, verifiers are being kicked out and all that kind of stuff, like it, 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 there was obviously a plan, you know, uh, I mean, Joe Biden had his gaffe, the most comprehensive elect election fraud uh, initiative in the history of the world or whatever. And it's like, <laughs> yes, I think that's what it was, you know, uh, you know, but I think with you, you think about like the cons like there's been conspiracy after conspiracy after conspiracy that have been proven true. But then on the other, I, you know, there's so many things related to the pandemic that that were started out as conspiracies and now they're just facts, you know, they're facts. Yeah. And, 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 you know, on the one side, it's like, Hey, uh, you know, we all got a little crazy and tried to, you know, destroy your life and, <laughs> you know, killed your family and all that, you know, like who, who could have thought, you know? So, I mean, I think we, the, we've all been there. We've all done that, <laughs> right? We've all been there, done that. Yeah. <laughs> Held you down and forcefully injected you, you know, I mean, it's, it, it just could have happened to any one of us. Have, yeah. <laughs> so, I mean, you have, I think you have like, so many of these things that have been proven true on the one hand, on the other hand though, I mean, there's just so many lies that are happening. There's so many lies that, and, and you go through one like cycle of media outrage to another, that so many of these things are just getting lost in the, in the mixed. And you know, that you'll never know, like it, it, you'll never know the truth of all of it. Like, to what extent were you being deceived? You know, what was the actual real story uh, right. with it all? Because you've just, like you, like all that happens is like you're, you're living in a time where you have, like for, for the most part, you have individuals on the right who are being lied to. They know they're being lied to. There's a big stink about it. And then they lie about something else, which shifts the attention away from the first lie. Then everyone gets mad about that. Right. And tries to speculate all the ways in which they're being lied to then. And then it's something else. Right. And you're, you know, 
this is just life for people, right? <laughs> yeah. This is life for people that you're just being lied to nonstop and none of it's going to get sorted out. And like most of it's not going to get sorted out. And, you know, only like the really big stuff maybe will get sorted out. You know, and I, I mean, I think you look at some of the recent, you know, stuff that's happened and it's crazy, you know? I mean, I mean, it's, it's absolutely crazy to think about like the Trump assassination and all the stuff that's going on with that. Like it, it, it kind of boggles the mind to think that this is pure incompetence that has happened. You know, when you see uh, pictures of where the FBI, you know, the uh, CIA and all that are stationed and, you know, you see, the, you see the roof where the guy was and, you know, hear all that testimony and everything else. It's like, man, this is just, there's something happening here beyond what we're being told you know there's a sense in which there's something more to the story than that and i don't know that we're ever going to get um clear answers on any of it but yeah i I don't know my sympathies lie with the people who are being lied to so i kind of you know on my end i i i think if you're going to give sympathies anywhere like when you're living in a time so filled with lies where everything you're saying is a lie where you're overwhelmed by you know, media, right? In all different mm-hmm. directions. Um, it really is hard to plot like a true path in the midst of all that. So, I mean, I, I think Christians have to be careful with their interaction on this front. I, I mean, I think um, more, more people should, um, I think more people should, like the, the way forward, I would think more people should, be able to acknowledge the fact that we're being lied to and how difficult it is. And I, th- I think like the impulses that people have just to, you know, come down real hard on conspiracy theorists. And I think you're, you're not appropriately appreciating the situation that we actually find ourselves in at this moment. Right. Yeah. Um, you know, so, I mean, like obviously um, there's, there's a lot of dangers on both sides. I mean, I think, thinking about the mob dynamic that happens on the internet right now, like, like that's a pretty disturbing thing. Thinking about how once like, like a conspiracy theory gets out, that has real world consequences that could ruin someone's life. That could ruin multiple people's lives. You could be engaging in online slander. You know, once the thing gets going, it gets going and it gets out of control. I mean, we've been, we've had plenty of situations like that happen with us to where once the mob got going, man, it was a witch hunt. No one stopped even, question what the narrative was the narrative was established and i mean i think that's a real bad thing you know (laughs) so we i think we all need to be careful at like navigating these waters i think you know learning to make basic distinctions between saying hey something fishy is happening here like um let's talk through possible explanations for what we're seeing because we know that the official explanation is not true. Right. Yeah. I think that's reasonable. Um, you know, but then like dogmatically declaring for sure this, you know, particular theory is what it is. Like you just need a, like a really high standard of evidence. And I'm not trying to say that the standard of, like a lot of people like the, the, the standard of evidence that's needed, like depends on their level of knowledge in the moment. Right. Mm -hmm. And like, that's a real bad place to be like, meaning like, I'm not the standard of like my knowledge about any particular topic isn't a reasonable standard for what other people are allowed to be confident about, right? They may actually know a lot more about a particular topic than I do. And that may explain some of their confidence. On the other hand, they may know a lot less about it than me. And I may know enough about it to know that, you know, there's a, more to the story than what their one sided perspective of it is. And so, I mean, I just think we, we need to give a, give people a lot of grace on this topic because it's confusing. <laughs> and I think you need to be very careful that you're not, you know, slandering people and sharing, yeah. you know, f- false stories um, with um, as if they're true, you know, um, I try to put, when I share things like that, I try to put qualifiers in there to basically say, it, like, isn't this interesting or, you know, what do you think about this? You know, like that kind of yeah. stuff, if I'm not confident about it uh, without necessarily just jumping on board with everything. Cause I mean, at a certain point you just come across like gullible and stupid looking, you know, <laughs> when you share like debunk story after debunk story after debunk story, you know, and a lot of people on the right do that. Then I understand how you can kind of look like a buffoon at that point for sure. Yeah. 
Okay, fair enough. Well, I think that's a good place for us to wrap up the conversation. So thank you, Tim, for answering all my questions there and, and talking us through that. And it certainly is a difficult time with with how it <laughs> with how easy it is to fake things um, at this point. So so it's good that we think about this, but then it it's good that we think about, you know, what do we do with these conspiracy theories while at the same time trying to balance um, you know, making sure that we're not venturing into that slander realm, the gossip realm, the um the you know, spreading lies um because we know that that's not what God does. That's what Satan does. Um, and so, so that's, that's good to, I think for us as Christians to think through and, uh, to help us honor God with our lives and especially with what we say, um, on, uh, online specifically, because it's so easy to just get caught up. Um, when it comes to online, it's easy to get caught up in the mob and just let yourself become emotional and not think logically about things. And, show people the same grace that you would expect them to show towards you if it, if the mob were coming after you. Um, and so, so I appreciate that, Tim. Uh, we want to thank all you guys for supporting us week in and week out for listening to the podcast, for watching the videos online, uh, sharing them around, interacting with us on Twitter and on Facebook. And if you want to get more content from us, you can do that by uh, following us on our social media accounts, which are linked down in the description. If you want to support us financially, you can do that through Patreon. There's a link down in the, the description for that as well. And if you're looking for other ways to support us, you can do that by leaving a like and a comment on the video, subscribing to the YouTube channel to rumble. Um, and if you're listening to this in podcast form, subscribing to the podcast and giving us a five-star review. And those are all really good ways that uh, that help us significantly that are free to you and only take a few seconds. And so we certainly appreciate all that support. And until the next episode, we'll see you. This has been another episode of Bible Bashed. We hope you have been encouraged and blessed through our discussion. We thank you for all your support and ask you to continue to like and subscribe to Bible Bashed and share our podcast with your friends and on social media. Please reach out to us with your questions, pushback, and potential topics for us to discuss in future episodes at BibleBashedPodcast at gmail.com and consider supporting us through Patreon. Now, go boldly and obey the truth in the midst of a biblically illiterate world who will be perpetually offended by your every move. Thank you.